India's fighter fleet is in a transitional phase, with MiG-21 retiring and the Rafale fleet still growing. The Su-30 MKI remains the backbone of the Indian Air Force. But in a region where China continues to expand its J-20 stealth fighter force, and Pakistan relies heavily on US-supplied F-16 and the China-Pakistan-made JF-17. The Su-30 MKI needs more than just size and maneuverability. It needs next-generation sensors, weapons, and networking to stay dominant. The question is, with these upgrades, can the Su-30 MKI outclass its regional rivals? The Su-30 MKI is already known for its supermaneuverability thanks to thrust vectoring engines and a large aerodynamic frame. But pure maneuvering is not what defines air combat today. Sensors, radar, electronic warfare, beyond visual range missiles, and pilot training dictate outcome. That is where the new upgrade package comes in, UTOM ESA radar, advanced electronic warfare suit, improved data links, and modern cockpit displays. Combined with weapons like the Osram, Astra MK2, Brahmos NG, and now the proposed KH-69. India is pushing the Su-30 MKI into a true, multi-role strike dominance platform. F-16 are nimble and network reliable, but depend heavily on US support, the software restrictions, and limited weapons integration. With ESA radar and Astra MK2, BVR missiles, the Su-30 MKI regains long-range engagement advantage something missing during the Balakot era. Meanwhile, with the JF-17, is a lightweight, cost-effective fighter designed for patrol and interception. It cannot match the Su-30 range, speed, payload, or sensors. With Brahmos NG and KH-69, the Su-30 MKI can strike deep into hostile territory, something the JF-17 simply cannot counter. However, this is where realism matters. The J-20 has stealth advantages and is optimized for BVR first-shot, first-kill engagements. However, air combat is not only about the aircraft, radar networks. AWACS support, pilot experience, and tactics decide the outcome. 